Is this like any of the sections we've talked about so far? Yes. It is? Uh, Which one is it closest to? Uh, half section? Half section, yeah. Yeah, it's close to a half, right? Yeah, yeah. But half would go right down there, right? So this is in a half section. And usually, remember the half section, we need to have the other view to show where we're cutting it. Here, this could be just one view all by itself on a page. So is it, does anyone know what this one is called? That's not a half section? No, no it's, it's not half. Section. Nope, it's not full. Uh, Break out. Broken out section. Broken out. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. See right here, we just kind of broke that piece off. So on this side, we're looking at the middle. And this side, we're still looking at the outside. We just kind of did this little squiggly line. What was that called? <coughs> a short break? A short break line, right? So we do a short break line to do a broken out section. Pretty easy. And then that's kind of real, real easy to do. If you want to show just a section of just a little tiny piece, maybe you have a big part and if you only want to see this part in the section, just draw a short break line around it, turn that little piece into a section. It's the easiest way to turn hidden lines into visible lines. So kind of like this, we just did a little short break line here. Now we have a section for this part, and the rest of it we just see the outside with hidden lines. Okay. So that's the other difference between a broken out and a half section. Right? Well, what's the difference? Broken could be smaller or bigger. Yeah. Be, this one we probably wouldn't do a half section anyways, right? Because it's not symmetrical. But what's different about this view than a half section view? What do we do on half sections? Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Inside on one side, outside on the other, right? Yeah. Is there anything here that we didn't put on the broke or the half section? The mounting plate. No, besides that. Is there anything that's on this drawing that we didn't have? On the half section. Yeah, part of the front. Short front face of it. Yeah, we could, yeah. Well, I mean, what else? We still got the material. Right? Think, think back to the half sections. Okay. What do we do on the half sections? We had two sides, mm -hmm. inside and outside, right? Yes, sir. On the outside, what did we show? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, uh, the cutting lines? Oh, we showed a cutting plane line over here, right? Which we don't have now. The cutting plane, right? Yeah, so broken out, no cutting plane. Well, what else is different about this view here? I said it already. The broken line? The short break line. The short break line? The short break line, but what else? I said it already. Oh. Can you go back and look at the half section? <laughs> So half section. We have our broken out section here, we have a half section there. What's the other difference? Hidden lines? Hidden lines. Right? Half section, no hidden lines. Full section, no hidden lines. Offset section, do we have hidden lines? We're doing an offset section, do we show hidden lines? Remember offset was the one where our kind of plane would go or down, move over. That do we show headlines of that? No. Do we show headlines with removed sections? No. 
There, so no so one. far, all the sections done, no hidden lines, right? Right. Yeah. Broken out sections, because we're just taking a part of it, there is hidden lines on the other part of the view. Okay? So the easiest way to do this would be you draw it out, kind okay, of like you would with hidden lines, and just figure out where you want to break, and then turn those hidden lines into object lines, and then add in your section lines. Any questions? So now is the line sections. So these are, I don't know, might be the hardest thing we do all semester. Yeah. <laughs> Just because we're not projecting straight. We already, did we talk about aligned views already? Yeah, no? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. So, is this the real side view of this? If I looked at this straight from the side, is this what I'd see? No, right? No. What would happen? This, this thing yeah. here is really way up here, right? So, how would I see that? Auxiliary view. Yeah, I'd have to do an auxiliary view of it. If I wanted to see that right, I'd have to do an auxiliary view this way to see that little tag. But then the side view, you would have it. And then it'd have like that, right? Yeah. And that's what what is that called? When it's at an angle? And removed? No, no. Well. It's called foreshortened, right? Foreshortened. Because we're just seeing it. So you can't really see the size. And you'd have to do I hate that word. We'd have to do an auxiliary view down here, right, to see the shape. And so that makes drawing this little piece right here is a pain, because you're not drawing just nice circles, you're drawing ellipses and stuff. And then you have to do an auxiliary over here, and things don't line up right, or they're not projecting straight. So it kind of gets you off. So what we can do is a line view, either as an aligned section like this, or in a line view, you're just looking at the outside of it. Where what we do is instead of projecting things straight across, their cutting point goes down and then like this. What we do is we kind of swing this down here and then bring it across. And that's called an aligned view. Uh, so if I turn on my compass. Right. Put my compass in the middle. If I take that point there, I can bring that down like that. that across like that. So now I'm seeing this straight on. And it also makes it look more symmetric than having that little thing hanging up, right? Yeah. So we can do that either with the section or with just regular views. We just kind of bring this down and then project it across. It makes this view a lot, a lot nicer, right? So you just have to remember Bring it down, and that's for usually. Tend to have something you know, kind of a circular pattern like this. We do it if we have holes along it, like even if we had holes here, we'd rotate that hole up to the top and bring it across. So we kind of project that up. 
that, and then bring it across. So that way things line up a lot better. Okay? Questions on that? So you can see another example here. Questions? Yes, no? So, kind of the same thing, or exactly the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. See that? This is what it would look like if we projected it just straight across. But by making the aligned view, and having our cutting plane line go down, around, through it, down, up, like that. Now we're cutting through both ribs, and it's looking a lot more even. What's this little thing right here called? Keyway. Keyway, right? Yep. So we also want to cut through the keyway so we can, we can see that in the section. Why would we want to cut through the keyway? Or to illustrate the, that it has one? Yeah. Because now it's, the keyway is right at the top. Here, we had a bunch of lines <coughs> for it. Right. Because we had the two lines here for that corner and that corner. And that line was up there. And then That's the outside the of the hole. This, this is just a lot easier, right? This yeah. looks like everything's symmetric. It looks like it's evenly spaced, which is what it is. It's just not vertical. So remember, drawings are about making it easier, making it look better. So questions? Why aren't the ribs sectioned? Show more of the part? No. Remember back a couple weeks when we talked about ribs before? <coughs> no, I don't. Remember we had the part that had... Oh, yeah, the round one? That one. something with there. So why are we sectioning the, the ribs? Show the thickness of the part? What about the thickness? The degree of it? What do you mean the degree? <laughs> it gets closer. <laughs> I can't remember. I have so much on my mind, all these midterms. There, it's somewhere. Let me ask you a question. This part right here, is there something there or is that just empty all the way through? something right here. It's right here, right? Oh, there you go. This right here? So this piece right here? That's in there, right? How do we know that if the section line is right here? Remember, our cutting plane line is coming over here and cutting through here. So how do we know that there's something there? We don't cut through that, that, or that. I'm cutting through your section line. But it's, my section yeah. line is going through here, not through here. 
So how do I know that that piece is right there? Because it's the base of rib A. <coughs> but it could be hollow there, just by looking at this view. Right. That could be hollow, right? That's what I was thinking. But it's not, it has something there. Well, let's look at some other pieces. What about this piece here? Where's that? That's at the top of the view. So where where's this purple? Is that the same as that? Because this this orange here is kind of the same as that orange, right? Right. What about the purple? Is this purple down here the same as this purple up here? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. If we look over here, that's really all that, right? Right. If we look at the middle of this, that's that. <coughs> So we can also tell that this is under here also, right? So that actually continues all the way around, underneath those ribs too. You guys agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now what's different? What's different about the rib part than the orange, blue, and purple pieces? Showing the thickness? It's mm -hmm. around, right? Kind of, you're on the right track, I think. But it's not spinning because it's not moving. But just between this and this, so we have purple, the orange, and the blue. The purple, the orange, and the blue. What's different about those three than the ribs? True size? No. Because they're all true size. We're, we're doing the aligned section, so we're cutting through and everything's projecting across nice and straight. Mm -hmm. so we're kind of moving this up and then projecting it. So what's different? So if I so we have the red ribs here. That's here, right? What's different about those than the rest of it? Rib A is not in its real position, aligned with the hole. Yeah, but rib B is. So that, that's not it. Because the alignment, we're, we're doing that so we can get true projection. Okay. But that, that's not why we didn't section it. <coughs> Fine. As we're almost there, I can see it coming. <laughs> What's different about the red things than the rest of it? They're a different color. They weren't a different color before. I'm just adding colors to help highlight stuff. They're not, uh, they don't have the section lines in there, the lines in them? Yep, they're not sectioned, but we're starting to trying to figure out why they're not sectioned. You're going backwards. You work up the back. You work closer. It's not cutting through it. We're cutting through it. No, it's such a line. It's cutting through it. Sure. That that view is showing where this is cut. You just want to show the depth of the rib inside the piece. Here, a little closer. about those ribs. What do the, the purple, the orange, the blue have in common that the red doesn't? They're cut in half? Yeah, they're off section lines, but that's where we're trying to figure out why those are section this one isn't. What's different about them? Because they're ribs. 
reinforcement. What about the ribs? Yeah, they're for reinforcement, but what else, what else about them? Keep going. You're almost there. It's, they, they aren't part of the full piece. They don't, go, they don't go all the way around. They don't go all the way around. Look, the purple, all the way around, right? <coughs> the orange, all the way around. Blue, all the way around. Red, little piece, little piece, little piece. Right? Right. Going that direction, the ribs aren't going all the way around. So we don't want to section them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Remember the same thing we talked about here? We didn't section it because it's not the ribs not giving a lot of strength this way. All the strength is going up and down. Same thing here. Those ribs aren't strength that way, they're strength that way. So if they're not continuous, we don't section them. Okay? Does that make more sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So if we did section that, then we would really know, is, is this the, the thick part? This is what goes through most of the way, so could that be the thick part? It could be, right? Yeah. If, if this was sectioned, you'd think that this part might be that part in there. Okay. So ribs, because it's thin, it's not supporting it. In that direction, we don't we don't section. Okay. Same thing for spokes. Spoke is pretty much just like a rib. We don't section. Okay. And that's it. So questions. SEC BO <clears throat> which is this one. So you have to do a breakout section there and there. What did I say was the easiest way to do the breakout section? How, how should you start it? Project and draw just like you would your hidden lines. Figure out where the lines would be, just like if they were hidden, and then come back and turn them into object lines. But you know, anything in this area is going to be object anyways now, so you can kind of do whatever. But just project it just like normal, and then get in there. What what is going to happen right there? <clears throat> going to show the top hole coming through. Uh -huh. So you're going to have two holes kind of crossing inside of those pipes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What shape is that intersection going to be? Yeah, it's going to be kind of a lips. T. I just happen to have another piece that got taken out. Huh. This is the piece that got taken out of that. And so the back side would be the same as the front side, right? Mm. So it's going to be. Something like that. You can go up and take a look at this. This piece has that that curve in there. Right. And it's really easy to find. You just have to project. Toss it into the camera. It's what? Toss it into the camera. Could do that. It's going to be hard to see because of the, the color. Oh, I see the curve you're talking about. You see it right here? Yeah. So come take a look at the at it close so you can see it. <clears throat> and 
AL1. Here's AL1. What, what are you going to have to do up here before you bring those down? <coughs> yeah, you're going to have to rotate them. Rotate them. So you're going to take your compass, put it there, bring it down, put it across that, that line that's on the center line, measure there, bring it down, and then project it down to the front view. Okay? Same thing here. Grab that point, bring it up, and then bring it across. That point up, bring it across. Okay? Questions? CF 3A is the lab. So it should be kind of similar to the other one we did, but different, similar but different. So you're going to have to do the front view and do an isometric of the section. Okay. Lots of lines in here. Yeah. Lots of pieces up here. How, how do you know what's what? Project. Project it. Bring it up to my line, bring it across, see what it lines up with. Make a square out of it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, like these two lines, these inside hidden lines, we've got points at the top, points at the bottom. So, the front of the top, bring it up. Wherever it hits, bring it down, bring that across, find your two points. <laughs> For here, find your two points, connect them. Right? Just finding points, connecting points. Questions? All it is is a big game of connect the dots. But the dots aren't labeled. <laughs> <laughs>